When we think about email marketing, we often jump straight into design, headlines, or performance. But the real magic happens with email personalization. It's all about showing that you're paying attention and making your subscribers feel seen. Hello again, I'm Migla, and today I'm going to show you how to easily personalize your automated emails using Hosting Your Reach. Setting up a welcome email automation lets you greet every new subscriber and adding a personal touch gives them a thoughtful introduction to your brand at exactly the right time. Email personalization can be the difference between a meaningful connection to your customers and ending up in the junk folder. I'm going to show you using my own brand, Urban Coffee Lab. So let's get started by opening up my Reach dashboard and clicking on automations. Right away, I see a number of options of automated email campaigns, but for now, we'll stick to single welcome email since I want to set up that initial email subscribers get when they first sign up. This is perfect if you want to offer a discount with sign up, encourage someone to start following you on social media, or welcome them to your brand. To create the welcome email, I can start by selecting a template that I previously created and edit it, or I can start from scratch using the Hosting Your Reach AI. All I have to do is describe what I want in the email. There's actually a helpful prompt pre-written for me as a guide, and I can add in a few details to make sure it sounds like it's coming from me. In less than a minute, Hosting Your Reach generates an email for me, and I can choose to send the email just as it is or fine tune to really personalize the email and connect with new subscribers. To do that, I'll switch from AI mode to edit mode, which gives me a little more manual control over the details. Select some text and scroll down to find personalization. From here, you can insert your subscriber's name or email address, so when they open the email, they'll see a message that feels like you're speaking directly to them. Just select the option you want to add and make sure to define what the default text will look like. In my case, I'll select the subscriber's first name and I'll set the default text to coffee lover. By setting default text, the email still reads naturally, even if the specific information is missing in reach and you don't get an email full of awkward text or blank spaces. Just like that, you've managed to make your email automation a little bit more personal. And trust me, that detail makes a big difference. When people see their name, they stop scrolling. And that's the start of a real connection. By the way, if you got best-selling products to showcase, onboarding ideas to share, or blog posts worth reading, you can easily send another email to all subscribers after a delay. You can add up to 10 emails in a sequence, though it's best to stick to two to three emails for the first contact. The best part is, once you activate the campaign, the automation runs completely on its own. The workflow is triggered with a new sign-up, but the follow-up emails are sent according to whatever delay you just set. And speaking of making connections, let's keep hours going. Subscribe this channel so you don't miss out on helpful videos like this every week. Consider this your welcome automation from us. Now, here's another automation that could save your email list. Personalized emails to recover subscribers who have gone quiet. For those who haven't opened one of your emails in a while, you want to send a personal note to welcome them back to your brand. First, we'll create a segment, basically a filtered group of subscribers who share something in common. In this case, we're going to focus on engagement. Our AI can help you filter your subscribers without having to manually sort through your contact list. To filter all the subscribers that have gone quiet, I'll prompt the AI with contacts who received but haven't opened any emails in the last 60 days. Why 60 days? It's the threshold where someone probably feels disengaged but hasn't yet forgotten about your brand. They might be busy or overwhelmed with emails, so now it's a crucial time to reconnect with them. Now, I just go back to create a new automation, and this time I choose specific segment and select the one I just created from the drop-down menu. Whenever someone hits that 60-day mark, they'll automatically be added to the segment and trigger the new subscriber recovery email. Just as they start to drift, they'll receive a personalized nudge with something to draw them back, like a special offer or discount code, and you don't have to keep track of them manually. Okay, there's one more thing. Now your emails are technically personalized, but how do you make them actually feel personal too? Here's my top three tips. First, Write the way you talk. 
If you wouldn't say, we invite you to explore our latest newsletter in real life, then don't write it here. Instead say, hey, I've got something new I think you'll love. Keep it human and simple. Second, tell short stories. People remember stories, not sales pitches. Try opening your email with something like, a few weeks ago, one of our customers shared how she started her mornings differently after switching to our planner. Now she's actually excited about her to-do list. A win we love to hear. It makes your brand sound real, not robotic. And finally, add your personality. If your brand has a sense of humor, go ahead and use it. If you're warm and friendly, show it. Consistency builds trust. And that's what email marketing is really about. You don't have to sound like a big brand. You just have to sound like you. And that's it. Three email automations that make your subscribers feel like you're talking to them, not at them. If you want to set up these yourself, Reach is available right in your H panel. We've got 10% off for you with code REACH10. To help you get started, we've got you covered with the step-by-step -step guide you can watch right here. Remember, personal always beats perfect. Try hosting your reach today and start building your community one email at a time. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.